Hi everyone, my name is James Feeney. Welcome to or back to my channel. You may notice that this is not the normal setup or location. That is because this is not necessarily a normal video for me. We are in my car and there wasn't much of a place to prop my phone up so you all are sort of right behind my steering wheel looking at me through it. I hope it creates a nice little framing effect. I thought I would take you all along with me for a day that I'm just going to take for myself pretty much. I have been kind of feeling a little bit burnt out and overwhelmed with life. I'm not sure if that's something anybody out there can connect with or relate to, but I would say on average every couple weeks or month, I start to get this impending feeling of being overwhelmed by, I would say maybe the enormity of my goals and suddenly it trickles down into the very fine-tuned aspects of my life, just the very normal day-to-day -day things like getting up and showering start to feel overwhelming and it compounds into this really anxious state for me and today I don't have much going on there's actually a lot going on at my house so I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to have a sort of date with myself or take myself out to relax and just enjoy the day this is something I do somewhat often I would say by and large if I'm out in public or doing anything I'm by myself I like to go out to eat by myself and go to places just by myself so we're taking the day now, I don't want to fully neglect my responsibilities, although today's a very slow day for me. So I did bring some stuff to work on and just get done. I managed to get through most of my like emails and just little technical bits in the earlier parts of the morning. Uh, but now I'm going to go get some food, get some breakfast, so I'll take you all along for that. I thought maybe I would go to a nice cafe, read my book, do a little bit of work because I don't want to use this day in a way where I feel more anxious at the end. And then maybe a walk in the park. It's a bit gloomy, but we'll see. And I just thought I would take you all along. Maybe this is something that some people out there can relate to. If you're watching this and you can relate, this is me asking or imploring you to try to find the time in your schedule to take a day for yourself and not feel guilty about it, to allow yourself the space to move and breathe and be and exist and not feel like you don't deserve that or that your time could be spent better elsewhere. I don't know about you all, but I, when I leave the house, pack as if I'm never coming back. So I have a tote bag that has my laptop, the books I'm reading, my journal, a few different types of pens because I like some variety. I also have my camera bag because I never know when I want to snap a picture. I usually bring my camera with me most places. I also wanted to add a little caveat, I guess a spiritual caveat. That is that I know many of us who identify as spiritual, who are constantly trying to learn more about ourselves, improve ourselves, and get ourselves to certain places that we're content or happy with in life. It feels almost like we're regressing or we aren't allowed to have days where we feel totally lost or like we're not sure what we're doing. I think that that's super valid and something that is a feeling we need to sit with. I personally like to sit with and try to experience and understand all of the emotions and feelings I'm having. And so when I am feeling very anxious or overwhelmed, I like to give myself the space necessary for perspective to better understand why I'm feeling that and then to hopefully address it in a way that's very healthy for me. This to me feels like a really great and healthy exercise in, I would say, taking a step back for the sake of perspective so that I might go forward feeling a lot better about what I'm doing and the motives and motivations behind it. So we're heading out to breakfast and I'll check in with you all in just a bit. All right, we made it. Something about jamming out and having a concert of sorts in your own car is so cathartic for me. I know some people are more shower singers or have the various places and settings they like to just sing along to their favorite songs in. For me, it's definitely in the car. I feel self-conscious in the shower or as though somebody might hear me, so the car is really my spot where I can listen to all the songs I like and not worry about others hearing them or liking them or not liking them, and I can sing until my throat feels raw and sore and just get everything out and nine out of ten times it improves my mood immensely so definitely a car singer and i like to jam out in that way i was also thinking about and reflecting on why i feel the way that i feel and what that reflects 
I don't know about anybody else out there. I know a lot of people start to get a lot more happy and optimistic as the weather warms up. It's actually kind of the opposite for me. I tend to get a lot more anxious and feel this sort of impending sense of doom for reasons that are somewhat unknown to me. I know that I have a few connections with the warmer weather incoming that I associate with less positive things, but I see others around me getting really excited about the warm weather and it does feel a little bit like a disconnect when I don't necessarily feel that way myself. So that's something that I'm trying to also reflect on and address and understand better for myself. But now that we've made it to breakfast, we're gonna head on in and finally get some food. Alright, so I just finished up at breakfast. That definitely improved my energy levels and mood immensely, so I'm feeling really great about that. If you're like me and you sometimes get a bit too busy and forget about eating or put meals to the side and they start to get sort of erratic and irregular, this is your reminder to nourish your body, to go seek out some food, a proper meal for yourself if possible. I think that that's really important in feeling balanced and it's something that I personally don't think about enough, so I'm glad that I paid some heed to my physical body today. I think I'm gonna head to a cafe and do some work now. That way I don't feel like I'm just trying to outrun the things that are making me anxious. I'm addressing them in some way, but in a less pressured environment, going about it very slowly with some time for myself taken in between. So I think that that'll be really helpful. I need to work on a bit of a little thing that I'm doing for a workshop I'm running along with some write-ups and handouts I'm giving to a client I have who is taking private lessons for tarot. That should be good. Maybe have another coffee. The one that I had at breakfast was decaf with oat milk. And for me, paying attention to what I put in my body and how it makes me feel is really important. So caffeine I found makes me feel very jittery. It throws off and I would say puts steeper, I would say just higher and lower points of energy within my day. I don't like the crash at the end of caffeine and I don't like the anxiety and jitteriness I feel at the beginning of the day. So decaf for me is crucial. And then I have oat milk in my coffees most of the time. Dairy tends to make me feel very bloated and lethargic and just sort of bleh. So I tend to avoid it when possible. Of course, I'm spending this day with myself and I wanna feel good in being with myself and try to maintain that level of energy and just feeling good all around. I think it really is a little bit about the, the smaller things. Not every day is going to be life altering, but I can alter my life a little bit each day. That was a really corny quote, so that should fulfill your quota for, for cheesy cliched type lines for the day, but definitely I would say there's something to it. So go out and alter your life a little bit today if possible in a way that you're happy with. I'm gonna head over to the cafe, get a coffee, do a little bit of work, and I'll check in in a bit. Alright, so it's gotten a little bit later. I've gotten my work done and done some reading at the cafe. I'm now at the park, clearly. I'm on a walking trail and just going for a bit of a hike, a very light hike. These are pretty easy trails. I put, it, I put on an extra layer now that the forecast has 
actually come to fulfillment. It's a lot cloudier, it's gotten colder. I've got an umbrella on hand and my camera in case I decide to take any pictures. It's a little bit wet on the trails, so hopefully that doesn't muck up my pants and boots too much, but I'm hoping even if it just lasts for a little bit, I can get a small walk in, get my body moving and feeling good in that way. So I'm happy about that and I will show you a bit of the trail as I proceed. As you can see, there's not much in the way of signs of spring or any of that life coming back quite yet. We're right on the verge. It feels like it's about to just almost pop. But something about being here and being in nature, I know many people experience this, is so soothing and relaxing, especially when on a day like this, there's nobody else out on the trails. I feel like I am with myself in some ways or I can be more expansive and take up more space and use that space to think almost like i have a larger sounding board when i'm out here something like that i don't know exactly how i would put it and when the wind rustles just right and kind of weaves its way through the trees and creates that sort of whispering sound it almost feels like something is speaking to you and in a way sometimes those noises i don't know they just create certain thoughts for me and it's really it's really interesting and nice I'm not exactly as focused on the picture taking aspect today, but that just is how it happened. I'm feeling a lot more content to just walk around and be with myself and of course take you all along a little bit and take a few clips here and there so you can experience a little bit of what I'm experiencing. But so far this day with myself, this date with myself has proven to be really great for reducing my feelings of being overwhelmed and just overall anxiety. Uh, it's been really, really wonderful, and I'm very glad that I gave myself the permission to do this thus far. So back to the walk, and I'll check in in a bit. Fun fact about that little stream I just showed, I actually went on a field trip to this stream when I was about 9 or 10 years old and we dug for fossils so all of the class actually went in the water, we got soaked and we had these pans to put chunks of dirt into and sift out to see if we would get shark's teeth or just any sort of fossil or sort of stone. This area apparently used to be actually underwater or part of the beach many like a long time ago and so some of the things were fossilized here we're not too far from the beach but i guess this area specifically was underwater so we would sift through and see if we got anything i thought i had a fossil it turned out just to be a really hard chunk of dirt and so it crumbled eventually but very interesting experience and so i just thought i would mention that all right it kind of has begun raining so Lucky that I brought the umbrella, but I'm going to head back to the car and make my way out of the park. I still was able to get in a pretty good walk, so I'm happy for that, and yeah. So I made it home just in the nick of time. It seems like it's raining quite heavily right now, so I'm happy to have gotten everything done that involved walking around outside and driving before that. My car is not the best in the rain, so it can get a little precarious, but now I'm home. I think I'm going to 
journal a little bit, maybe make some tea, and then continue doing a little bit more work on a few things. And I'll check in in a bit to let you all know how the evening unfolds and what that involves on a day where I'm trying to let myself take it easy, nurture myself a little bit more, what I would potentially do on a night like that. everybody final check-in i'm here it is evening i am in my lounge attire i'm going to basically start to wind down and turn in for the night i had a nice chicken stir fry for dinner you will have seen that i took a really nice relaxing bath with salts and lit a nice candle well attempted to and then i poured myself a nice glass of wine and got myself some thin mints which are girl scout cookies i don't know how well those might be known outside of the US, but they're kind of like a chocolate mint flavor and they're amazing, especially when they're frozen. So I'm going to settle in. I've had a wonderful day. For me, this has been extremely soothing and relaxing overall. You can't quite see, but I actually went around to all of my altars and, well, altars, my sacred space for the feminine and then my main altar here and I lit up all the candles along with my tarot space. And so I have all these candles going. I just turned on the lights to film this sort of outro. But once this is done, I'll be able to turn off the lights and watch my Netflix and just have the candles go. Sometimes it's not a super active spiritual practice that I engage in frequently. Sometimes to me, it's more about this passive act of just paying sort of acknowledgement to the space itself and what it represents. So sometimes I'll just go through the motions of lighting all of these candles that I set out and enjoying the sort of ambiance and glow that they give and knowing what they represent and why I put that candle there. And to me, that is a spiritual act or a magical practice within itself. To me, it represents something. And although I'm not engaged in a sort of concentrated practice with a goal in mind, I am sort of in the sacred space that I've created. And that sacred space has a lot going on within it that I've accumul accumulated and things that I've partook in throughout uh, a long span of time. So in a way, to me, it represents a little bit more of the receptive or passive side to a potentially overly active practice at times. Or in this case, I haven't been as active lately in that concentrated stuff. I have been engaging in a lot more of the act, the more passive and receptive types of magic, I would consider them at least. So I'm going to dig into my show. I'm actually watching, it's called Alice in Borderland. I'm not sure if it's everybody's cup of tea. It's on Netflix. It's a Netflix original that takes place in Japan. So you can, I know it has subtitles for most languages. It's originally in Japanese. It's, I would consider it psychological thriller, potentially horror for some. I do like horror, but I wouldn't consider this horror or scary. It's more of a thriller, but there is some gore and it's this sort of dystopian reality or it's hard to explain, but there's this puzzle aspect to it that really I find really engaging. It's not the most relaxing show, but I'm hoping the wine and the cookies can offset the, I would say, heightened nature that this show is but I'm going to sit in the sort of ambiance of the space I've created. I just wanted to say goodbye and give a, a brief update. Today was really wonderful, just taking the time for myself. Sometimes I think we all forget to do that and we all deserve it. We all deserve a day for ourselves, for our mental health, for our spiritual well-being. If that means a reset of sorts that you need to sort of take a step back because you've gotten 
too close or wrapped up in everything in your work life, in some personal aspects of your life, in your spiritual endeavors. I think sometimes we get too close to the things that we enjoy or we're surrounded by in a day-to-day -day sense and we either lose sight of them or lose ourselves within them and need to take a couple steps back in order to assess who we are outside of those things and also to breathe. So take a breath. If you're watching this right now with me, just let's all take a breath. Like, All right, now maybe do that a few more times. I hope you are all doing well. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and had some fun with me. And until next time, bye.